people from NAMI would be great to meet to, with some people from uh, the criminology department at PSU would be wise and uh, maybe Mike Marshman, well, no. Who's the head of the, the PPB compliance settlement agreement? Now that Marshman's chief, I've been out Who's of town. Who is it? Steve Jones. Jones. Steve Maybe Jones. get together with Steve Jones, see what he has ideas. Instead of just, you know, throwing out some dice on the, or die on dice on the table, just taking a little bit more time and considering the organizational structure and, and well, input. I think all we're talking about is who should select one person um, and that's a new position What's as part yeah. of the accountability plan that uh, this committee is recommending. The police auditor though, right? It's that's the position. The police auditor position. My understanding is, is that's a pretty, that person plays a pretty vital role, role as a police auditor. Am I incorrect? If yes, so, it's okay. An important role. Oh. So, so it's just the question: who would who would select that person? And in, in the original plan, it was suggested that it be a combination of the CRC, who are. 11 or 13. Or 15. Uh, if the city keeps it great. Well, right now, yeah. they're um, 11 or 13 community members. Okay. And we also <coughs> suggested that the, um, the city auditor be involved uh, because we thought that um, a volunteer organization could not hire a person. But if you read Debbie Iona's little email there, she gives an example of the PDC, which is a, a, an all-volunteer agency. I think there are only five people on it, though. And they select their chair, who is a city employee. Let me reframe the issue. Um, <coughs> Slightly um, as Rochelle describes, we had suggested um, the recommendation that the CRC the auditor, the CIA auditor would have um, the authority to remove.